<clears throat> so I've asked this question on how to transcend situations like work, um, but not use the things I normally talk about. So I'll try and uh, uh, talk about it in a slightly different way. So if, if work is very triggering, how can I sort of transcend that type of environment so I can be in that infinite peace and presence, that limitless space? Uh, when habitually work um, things. So if I'm not going to talk about the observer and counseling beliefs. Another, another way, there are other ways to do it, uh, to transcend an environment so you don't get hooked into those negative energy vibrational fields. Um, one of them would be, and it's not the one I usually do, but that I heard from Hawkins, uh, which is very advanced, but it's just a commitment to stay in the present moment. Uh, and how I'd say that, let's say in work, my boss triggers me, um, this, my colleagues trigger me, uh, everything about it, the noises in the, in the office trigger me. It's like I've got so many conscious and unconscious things that trigger me. How am I gonna stay in those infinite spaces? And one way to do it um, is, uh, it's a bit like uh, jumping off a cliff. You have to have a, you know, like let's say um, someone said to you, look, if you're gonna surrender, there's the cliff edge, just jump off and trust. Well, that might be something you could do. I mean, that seems to be like a one-off event. Okay, we'll, if I've got the courage, I'll just jump off and, uh, and I'll let go. Uh, but if you want to do that at work when it's habitually full of multiple triggers, one way to do it, I'm not saying this is easy, um, but it's to have the kind of absolute ferocity in yourself that you're gonna stay in the present moment. You're not gonna track the future or the past. You just let everything happen in the instant. You're not gonna let thoughts go off into resentments, fears, or into getting triggered. You're just staying on the razor's edge of this present moment. So your, your intention at work is F work, F all my fears <clears throat> around work. Um, I'm just gonna stay in the present moment. And, uh, and, and, and that allegiance to the present moment is like jumping off a cliff in every single moment. It means that you're gonna stay in the infinite and you're not gonna give space for your, your head to go into the future past analyzing or mentalizing. Because as soon as you give energy and identification to your thoughts, to the future, the past, analyzing, of course, you'll go into a fear-based story, a projection that, uh, you know, what will people think of me or I won't be able to function or I'll get fired, whatever the, but you see those thoughts arise because you're not, your commitment is not to stay in the present moment. You're giving, you're allowing energy and identification with your thought fields so you go out of the present moment into the future or the past. So you have that jumping off the cliff before you go into the work and staying in the present moment is like a ferocious commitment to surrender in each moment. You're not going to leave the present moment. You're not going to give attention or interest to thoughts, no matter what. And that's like jumping off the cliff in every second. Now, there'll be a huge desire for, for you to give energy to the future, the past, and to your thinking in every moment. You'll want to think, analyze situations, think what other people are thinking of you, thinking about whether you get fired or not. But your, your commitment is not to even give that energy to stay in the present moment. So it's like that ferocious commitment to stay in the now. So that's one process you could do um, for uh, transcending work. So it is a bit like jumping off a cliff. Either you make that commitment and you don't give energy to the future or the past or thinkingness and whatever happens, happens. So you're gonna just jump. It's like either God catches you and you retain that infinite space or, or God doesn't, but uh, you gotta have that commitment. So that is like jumping off the cliff. And it will be a bit like that. Either God saves you or, you know, you might get fired or who knows what. Or people might say you're on drugs or something wrong with you. You had a met, but it doesn't matter. Your commitment is present. So those are things like acts of absolute faith and jumping off a cliff. So that's one way to transcend work. Um, and uh, is that you're not going to give fuel to your ego to go into the future or the past and to mentalize. So it's like, it's like a commitment to staying in the infinite presence no matter what. And you just go through your day at work and, and, and then you know, either God catches you or God doesn't catch you. 
So that's like ferocious commitment to presence and the infinite field, uh, no matter what. And you do that by not allowing uh, energy identification or meaning to go to any thoughts so that can build up into the future, the past, or analysis, or some kind of analysis, which means you're going more in your head to try and work things out. So that's one way of uh, doing it. So what else could you do to transcend things, which I don't normally talk about? All the other methods are actually doing, um, trying to process uh, process stuff. I mean, there is another lesson which I like, which I don't often talk about, is making things meaningless. Uh, if you ferociously um, apply some of the Course in Miracles lessons while you're at work with absolute 100% ferocity, uh, they can help you stay in the infinite field. You know, you're, you're, you know like uh, everything, every thought and every person and every, every noise in the work is meaningless. You have to continuously apply that course lesson <clears throat> You know, the boss is meaningless, uh, the table is meaningless, my thoughts about this uh, situation is meaningless continuously and not allow your ego to project meaning or specialness or importance to any, any thought, person, place or situation. Uh, even the tracking of time or going into the future is meaningless, the past is meaningless, your boss is meaningless. So if you find certain course lessons or I pray for a miracle to see this, I mean, I do often talk about that, but Really what I'm saying is the ferocity of applying something like a knife so that your ego doesn't have time to hook into the world and you, so you stay in the field of the infinite. Um, the other things I would have talked about, I'm tempted to talk about them, field of feelings, allowing feelings or observer or counseling beliefs, but I won't. So I'm going to come back. I probably will think of something after this meeting that I forgot to say, but that's sometimes the way.